In this early morning video, I'd like to show you the three big mistakes that people do when they walk. Maybe you too. Well, look, how do we walk normally? When we walk normally, we would like the pelvis to be slightly behind us and rather stable, not fixed, but rather stable, so that the spine is protected. Now, the first mistake that many people do is walk with their feet going sideways. Why is it a mistake? Well, let's have the hands on belts with the feet parallel. You see that from the moment you will put your feet, say, as Charlie Chaplin, yeah, toes pointing outwards, your pelvis will go forward, and as your pelvis goes forward, your back goes hollow. Let's see the impact of this on my gait. Look, it's not at all the same spinal stability. I'm going like this with my pelvis, and this will therefore hurt my spine. Actually, there is another problem when you do that, which is linked to the second mistake. When I'm like this, the mid-back is behind me. Some people have their mid-back backwards because their feet are pointing outwards, but some other people have their mid-back backwards just because they have bad habits, you know, because they hang forward with the pelvis. And when you walk with your mid-back backwards, like this, well, it's basically like someone would be pulling you behind, say, pulling you in the backward direction once you're trying to move forward. This cannot be biomechanically optimized. It's not possible. Yeah? So, this is the second mistake. The third mistake people do is that they just have their back super hollow like this. And this is typical of people who have learned that they should stand up straight, sit up straight, or sometimes we have that also with people who just think of pulling their shoulders back, you know. One way or the other, you create strain in the lower back and or in the neck. If I go like this, same, you know, <laughs> I'm absolutely not uh, in a healthy posture. So basically, to fix that, the idea is, one, we keep the feet parallel, two, we put the pelvis behind us and have a slight tilt of the pelvis so as to flatten the back. There, we look a bit like monkeys, but you see on this picture that babies actually exactly do the same. Yeah? So it's not the shoulders that go back, it's the pelvis that goes back. Then what I'll do is just press on my big toe, and this starts the, the movement of the, of the feet. And at some point I just go first gear and move forward. When I move forward, a great idea is to think that you should always move towards your big toes. I move to my big toe, I move to my big toe, I move to my big toe. Always move to the big toe. And thereby, you just keep your pelvis as a lazy, lazy thing behind you.